attract your twin flame back into your life by doing this. And this is probably one of the most powerful ways or things that you can do to magnetize your twin flame back to you. I'm Brienne, a master certified ascension coach with Twin Flames Universe. Okay, and now I know you wanna get right to it. Like what is that thing, that number one thing that you can do to attract your twin flame? How can you magnetize them to you? You know, and this is something that was a massive game changer for me and something that I never, you know, coming out of a regular relationship or a, you know, uh, what, are, what do you call it? Like a, a, a relationship that we normally have in the world, right? Someone that's not your twin flame, let's put it like that. You know, you try to bring all of those dynamics, all those kind of social norms or those patterns or whatever you will, you know, into your twin flame union. And then you quickly find, like I did, that that does not work. You know, when I first awakened to the twin flame journey, I thought, oh, I'm gonna go get my hair done. I'm gonna go get a tan. I'm gonna work out. Like these are the things that we do, right? When we are pursuing someone that's not our twin flame. But if you're watching this video, then you're more than likely pursuing your twin flame. And if you weren't, well, welcome, you're on the journey now. <laughs> okay, and so we're going to talk about that one thing or probably one of the most powerful ways that you can magnetize your twin flame to you. And so we all know that twin flames is your eternal lover, your romantic partner, the one that you were created to be with and the only one that you are actually meant to be with, and the same with your twin flame, they're only designed to be with you. And, you know, how do you magnetize them to you? I'm leaving, I'm not gonna leave you hanging here, we're gonna get to it, okay? And so I might've said it already, but this is what worked for me, and it works for everyone else that, you know, I've helped or I've talked to or, or friends, you know, this has been a thing that they have done on their journey. And so I'm just going to tell you, you know, the ways that you would think that you need to manifest your harmonious union is not the ways that you actually go about manifesting your harmonious union. Okay. And so one of the, one of these ways, I'm just going to tell you now, all right, I won't keep you hanging in any longer, but, um, it's life purpose. Wah, wah. No, there's more to it than that, okay? And so if you just think about it, right? Like what is life purpose? Life purpose is essentially um, what you were created to do or uh, you express to the world. And when you are doing what it is that you were created to do, well, what does that result in? That results in you being very happy and filled with purpose and filled with joy. And what do you think that that fulfillment of purpose and joy and happiness is going to do? Well, it's going to magnetize your good to you. Like that's basic logic. Like whenever you see someone that's just incredibly happy and they're very passionate about what it is that they're doing, they're just really enjoying their lives. Are they not like very just magnetic? Like you just, um, their, their joy is contagious um, they're just very attractive. And so because your twin flame is your divine counterpart, they're your divine lover, you being your happy self and being very passionate about your life and what it is that you're doing, they can't help but be in your presence because of that. And, and same for them. Like if you just imagine, you know, or it's happening, like your twin flame, you know, they're in that state of joy. They're passionate about what it is that they're doing. And that's just highly magnetic to you. you. You find them very attractive. And we often get confused and we think, okay, I've got to focus fully on my twin flame and I've got to pursue them just as I would another person. But that actually, it repulses them because they're not supposed to be the, the center of your focus. And that doesn't mean start ignoring your twin flame and start focusing on other things. That's not what that means. But that means allow your purpose, allow yourself to serve a higher purpose, a higher function 
in doing something that you absolutely love doing that brings your heart passion and joy and how does that intertwine or how does that you know play out in your union well you and your twin flame your eternal lovers yes but you also have a purpose and your purpose isn't just um to tuck yourselves away in a corner as you come together your purpose is to um share yourself with the world in a way that you were designed to do that and you were already created perfectly with a purpose and if you don't yet know what that is start exploring your heart what is it that you like to do or maybe you've already have a you already have a career path that you're on and it's something that you very much enjoy doing well how can you go deeper there and envision your life with your twin flame fulfilling this purpose like look at what your twin flame is doing right now you know what are the key or the core aspects of that that you and your twin flame really resonate and really love and enjoy doing and that's going to lead you into or give you a hint of your grand purpose together and your purpose is something that's always going to be unfolding it's never going to be okay once i get to this thing then that's it no it's going to be many different things but it's going to be you expressed in many different ways and so the way that you can attract your twin flame if you're having trouble attracting them right now is look within yourself and what are you currently doing and are you happy are you enjoying your day are you happy and content and fulfilled within yourself and if you're not we'll go a bit deeper there what can you do differently and what really helped me you know excel and and propel in my purpose was life purpose class by twin flames universe life purpose class has changed my life and you know as i manifested harmonious union with my twin flame you know my twin flame joined me and yeah we're now we coach other twin flames and so we share ourselves through our experiences through things that we've healed in our union and we just uh, continue to grow and evolve in in our purpose our shared purpose and so look within your heart and and it doesn't just have to be purpose related to it can just be what makes your heart happy like what brings you a lot of joy and and focus on that and envision this is a fun part too like if you're healing physical separation right now envision your twin flame doing those things with you you know when i was moving through physical separation everything that i did i envisioned my twin flame with me doing those things even mundane things like going to get groceries you know i would envision my twin flame there in the car with me you know riding along listening to music and just holding hands and just enjoying each other's company or if i was eating dinner you know i would envision my twin flame having dinner with me and that would really like um bring me joy in my heart and yeah there was sadness and things to move through in that as well but you just want to feel through those feelings but whatever you do cultivate your life full of joy and your life full of happiness and know that that's highly magnetic and so attractive to your twin flame and they're they're naturally and automatically going to join you there and now don't do it to um don't do this to get a result but do it simply because you deserve to be happy and knowing that a result is a natural um a natural result of you just being happy and being in a state of joy so reach out for support if you're struggling with your purpose or what brings your heart joy and uh i'm happy to support you so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video